Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Real Mines plugin. So this is an absolutely fantastic plugin which allows you to create regenerative mines that are super easy to customize. They will use a GUI and you can see this one literally just reset as I was destroying it and you can customize the percentages, the blocks and loads of cool stuff like that. So we're going to jump into it. This is my example. Um, what I've done here is added a couple of different blocks that you can see and within 20 seconds it should reset again and there we go. And then if I do forward slash real minds panel, that is going to bring up the GUI. So it's going to list all your different mines here. I've only created one. You can see it's 720 blocks and it shows you the percentage that has been mined. And then if we click, we're going to be able to edit it. Now there is a huge GUI with loads of different buttons that you can do various different things. Um, and we are going to show you how to configure that in a second. So I've built this little cube over here, which is going to hold the mine we're going to create. And then in this corner, what I'm going to do is pop down the block and using the world edit wand, left click, that's going to set that position. And then over here, I'm going to place another one, right click, that sets the second position to select the entire cuboid. And then we can do forward slash mine create. And this one's going to be server miner. And then it gives you an option which type of mine you want to create, a schematic one, a farm, or blocks. I'm going to do blocks. Now, because I left those diamond blocks in there, it wants us to know if we want to add it to the mine, and no, we do not. So pop that in, and then server miner has been created. And as you can see, it's a very boring mine, nothing much in it. So if we do four slash mine panel, then we can see our two mines and the green bar now shows one red block because some have been destroyed. So now all we need to do is click to edit this mine and there's a ton of things in here we can edit. So let's go with blocks. This is probably the most important. What we can do is just click any blocks in your inventory that you want in and you can hit Q to remove any. So this is gonna be quite an interesting one. Let's go ahead and set the percentages. So you need to click to edit the percentage. It's gonna be 60% obsidian and let's do 30% diamond block and then 10% emerald. Quite powerful, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but just as an example. Hit close and then we can go ahead and change the icon if we want to make it look a little bit nicer. And let's go ahead and choose the diamond block. There we go. Name, you can have a new name if you want. So maybe using a capital this time. And it's gonna set the new name. The boundaries, you can click that to see where the boundaries are resets now this is important so you can have resetting via a percentage so once it gets down to 20 percent it will reset completely and we want to left click to turn that on right click we can change the percentage to maybe 40 percent and then over here we've got reset by time which is on automatically and we can go ahead and change this as well to maybe 20 seconds so it should reset while i'm talking and then if you want to manually reset it, you can click here as well. And wow, that looks very cool. Loads of good blocks here and that obsidian would take quite a while to mine. So I'm just gonna destroy a few of these blocks and within 20 seconds, it should obviously reset. We can go back to mine panel and there we go. It already did. And we can go to the clear. If you want to clear the mine, you can teleport to it if you lose it for whatever reason, which is pretty handy. You can select the color for the mine, so maybe green, and that's going to change it up here. And then you can go back to the previous page and select a different mine if you want. And there we go, it's reset again. So there's only a couple of commands left. If you do forward slash mine list, that's going to list the ones we have. And then if you've renamed it, and then we can do mine, delete, and then server miner. And that would remove it, and it would also take away the blocks. Now that is how you'd create one in-game. As you can see, it's super straightforward and simple. It is a really fantastic mine plugin if you're looking for one. Now on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.14 to 1.20.1. And if you scroll down, you must make sure you have world edit, otherwise it will not work. And then down here, it gives you a little bit of information how to use it, but it's mainly using the GUI as we saw in game. If you have any problems, you can contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.